Let me just say something real quickly about what we're going to pass. And so we're going to go slowly past that. And you can stop and take some pictures as we make our way around to the back. One of the things right after this is uh, it's a monument in memorial of the Huguenots. So some of you in the South, especially in the Carolinas, you, you've heard a lot about the Huguenots. The Huguenots were not Baptist people, but they were French Protestants. And they were greatly persecuted and slaughtered by the Roman Catholic institution. And uh, in 1572, during the famed St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre, forces uh, slaughtered them to the tune of 70,000. That was in 1572. Um, they were killed in France, and then many Huguenots migrated to America. I get often asked, were the Huguenots Baptists? They were not, but uh, Baptists were not the only people persecuted by the Roman Catholic institution. So we're going to pass that up on your left. Um, and I was actually trying to figure out where that was at, but I know we passed it the last time I was here, so I know it's up there. Uh, there's just so much in this cemetery, it's kind of difficult. And then when we get over there, part of it was under construction last time we were here. I hope we could see uh, one of the sections I actually wanted you to be able to look at over there. But uh, obviously we're standing here at John Hancock's uh, marker and grave, and he was a great patriot of the American Revolution and served as president of the Second Continental Congress and was the first and third governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Of course, he's remembered for his large and stylish signature on the Declaration of Independence. So much is he remembered for that, uh, that the term John Hancock has become synonymous in the United States for one signature. And so this is just one of the graves that's in this cemetery. We're gonna continue to move because there's a lot to see, okay? So just 